Okay, I'm back to bring you some scouting reports. First, we got Grant Riller. He's a 24-year-old, 6'3", 190-pound guard out of Charleston. He averaged 21.9 points, 5.1 rebounds, and 3.9 assists on 49.9% from the field, 36.2% from three, and 82.7% uh, from the line. My strengths are is that he has a very versatile uh, game on offense with an elite ability to score at all three levels of the game. He has a pretty good first step, and then his phenomenal touch at the basket allows him to be an elite finisher. He's also very good at getting to the free throw line, and he's a good free throw shooter. Very crafty player, with him being arguably the best ball handler in the draft. He has just super smooth handles that allow him to get uh, to his spots in the mid-range and uh, to the three with ease. He uses a variety of moves, such as step backs. Uh, he really likes going to the in and out out of the pick and roll, and that just freezes his defender and uh, allows him to score. His handle is so polished and so impressive uh, and is definitely the best part of his game. Uh, and he's just a very good scorer off the dribble as well, which helps. you got to be able to finish when you get open, and he's uh, pretty good in the mid-range, pretty good in the three. Uh, and like I said, very good at getting to the basket. Just overall so, so good at scoring at all three levels of the game, which is really impressive. Uh, he's just overall a very efficient and polished player on the offensive end. He's also a pretty good rebounder for his size, and he has uh, good hands that allows him to get steals. His weaknesses, though, he is an older player. Uh, his size and athleticism are both decent, with him being uh, 6'3", 190, uh, with him having decent speed. Uh, but it just doesn't stand out that much. Uh, he also has limited up it upsize just due to him being an older player. He looks like he's uh, rounded out most of his game and uh, doesn't have much room to grow anymore. Uh, he's also not played against very good uh, competition with him playing at Charleston, uh, who doesn't play many uh, high-level schools. Uh, and then he also has very inconsistent effort on the defensive end. That lack of effort can lead to some really uh, ugly defensive lapses. Uh, where it can be very frustrating uh, to watch him. His pick-and-roll defense is also concerning, as he struggles to get around screens a lot of the time, uh, which can lead to him having to switch, uh, causing mismatches. He also over-dribbles a lot and uh, throws some lazy passes sometimes. Like uh, I remember vividly the game I was watching uh, for him. He literally just uh, threw like a super slow pass, and it was just easy for the other team to steal and get a fast-break opportunity. And that's shown in his 3 point to uh, turn over the game he's definitely got to get that under control and get better with that his playmaking is also just not very impressive uh, so with that three point uh, nine assists to three point two uh, turnover ratio that's not good at all for a point guard and uh, he is more of a reactive passer to anything he doesn't really uh, see things before they happen uh, which you would like out of your point guard even though it's not necessarily uh, the biggest need uh, now and the three-point shot is pretty uh, is pretty decent, but so sometimes can be inconsistent as he has games where he can just be on fire. And then other games where he can uh, really struggle as a three-point shooter. I have him as a top 25 to 35 prospect. Uh, I'm fitting best with the 76ers because they could definitely use someone who could just come in and really score the ball off the bench. Uh, someone who can be a big spark plug for them, especially uh, with him being an older player. He should have an immediate impact on the game. Uh, and then the Celtics, bench scoring and shot creation off the bench was a big problem last year. They obviously had a, a lot of scoring and creation in the starting lineup, but off the bench they really didn't have anybody who could come in and just score the ball, uh, and I think he'd be good for that for them. And then my comparison for him is uh, Fred Van Vliet with worse playmaking because he's definitely not near the level of a playmaker that Fred Van Vliet is. Uh, but as a scorer, he has a bit of a similar uh, game to Fred Van Vliet with them both just being very polished offensive players and then both being able to score at all three levels of the game. And then uh, Trey Burke is my other comparison, another guy who is a great ball handler and has a pretty uh, well-rounded offensive game even though uh, he's been in and out of the league. I think he'll be better than Trey Burke, uh, but they do have just similar games, especially with that ball handling ability. So I do like Grant Riller, even though I think his upside is limited, and I don't expect him to get much better from here, but I think he'll uh, be a nice scorer off the bench for whatever team he comes to.